Hi guys! Over the years I've spent quite a few bucks on this bike, upgrading and modifying it with uh, yeah, suspension, rally tower and bash plates and whatnot. But now I'm about to make the most drastic and expensive upgrade so far that will greatly improve on my experience on the bike, rally uh, riding and map reading and also making all the videos that I'm doing, so it's going to be a major change. But it's a little bit scary. Okay, I will tell you right away. Okay, I will tell you right away. This is about me cutting my eyes open, sucking the organic lenses out of my eyes and replacing them with sort of cyborg plastic lenses so I can see better. It's called an RLE, a refractive lens exchange. And if you're older than 45 years, which you probably are according to my demographics on the channel stats, uh, you might be curious about this. And that's why I made this video. I'm going through with this thing and I'm making this video to yeah, just share, share my experience and everything with uh, before and after and during and everything. So, and of course, this is important for this kind of video. It's not sponsored uh, at all. I'm not affiliated with a company doing this uh, or anything. I'm paying the same price as everyone else. Yeah, so let's get on with it. So I don't have any specific problems with my eyes. So as, as young, I had normal vision, but over the years, the lens inside the eye for, for far uh, sight, you, you have a pretty flat lens and then you use your muscles to contract it. So when you look at something close, it contracts like this. But over the years, it gets more stiff. So it, it's hard for you to Con compress it like that uh, to, to change the shape. And that's why you have to uh, hold the uh, stuff that you're reading f further out and at some point your arms are not long enough. And I'm way past that point now. Right now I don't have any big problems with farsight. I can manage uh, very well riding even though farsight is deteriorating also but it's the close range stuff. Because when riding on these adventures, uh, you look far and then you look at, you have the map. Sometimes mobile phone or even the Carpeta that I have is, uh, it's hard to read what's on the map. I can see the red line if it's a GPX file or something like that. And then we have the road book rallying. I can see the big numbers and the arrows and where to go, but the small stuff, like you have the descriptions in, on the side of the road book, I cannot read that. I have to pinch zoom uh, to, to read that. And then we have the video making. We have all these small gadgets, GoPros, cameras and settings and stuff. Impossible. And I've tried contact lenses, but that just doesn't work for me. Uh, fiddling with the lenses and if you're out camping and, and you have to be clean and stuff like that and you lose one and yeah. So it, it, it hasn't really been working for me. So I use reading glasses. Cheap ones because I have about 10 pairs lying around everywhere and they break and I lose them and, and stuff like that. So on trips I have at least two on me. And when I need them, I put them on and put them back and so on. So making this bionic upgrade will be a great freedom for me. So yeah, yeah. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> filming this now, I haven't done the surgery uh, yet, uh, which is why I have these. You don't know how many times I've put these on and off just for the first minutes of, <laughs> of filming. So in this video, you can join me on this adventure and see how it plays out. Yeah, it took me quite a while to get committed to this because, yeah, I don't trust ads or influencers when it comes to surgery, of course, which again is why this is not a sponsored video and it's not even a recommendation. 
It's just me sharing my experience going through with this. So then I started browsing different companies who perform this. It's quite a, a normal procedure in uh, here. We make five figure number of uh, surgeries in Sweden uh, every year. And there's a handful of companies doing it. So the choice is, of course, you want good reviews from others, but it's a big economic question also. So the company I chose, Vorda Ögon, uh, just for reference, uh, is sort of priced in the middle. But the real deciding factor was um, they charge 6,400 uh, euros for this operation. Um, but through the Swedish motorcycle organization, SMC, if you pay the 50 euro membership yearly, which I do anyway, you get a 1,400 uh, euros discount. So this ends up at plain five grand euros uh, to do. So, but I, I see it as a big investment in in my life and my writing and video making and all the things that I enjoy where these are not so practical. Now where were we? Yeah, so I called them up and got started. So none of these companies really takes your money and puts in the new lenses. First you need to go uh, to an examination which Partly, it's almost like an audition. If this will be something that uh, is applicable to your type of yeah, sight problems. Uh, so they take you through all these different tests, like uh, the normal eyesight test, but with, with this full Swedish smorgasbord of, of machines. And then you go through sort of a lecture and an explanation of the whole procedure and making sure that you get the right expectations from, from this uh, operation. Because you will not get the, the eyesight of your teenage years back again. But instead, as your uh, eyesight decreases over the years, when your lens gets stiffer, I think that's the only part that gets stiffer with the years, isn't it? Yeah, anyhow, your I, your lens, your new lens will sort of place you somewhere down the line here. And if you passed that, that line and your eyesight is now worse than what the new lenses can provide, then you're up for uh, surgery if you want it. But also getting the correct sort of risk judgment here because there are side effects. Um, asking around the most common side effect that, uh, that people speak of is that your night vision will worsen a bit because you get uh, around the, the light sources in the dark you have headlights and things like that they will get sort of halo effects around them which and, and this effect will sort of decline once you get used to it um, and then, of course, since it's a uh, surgery we're doing, there's a whole list of, of things that could possibly happen. But my next trip is to Tanzania. There's a, quite a list of things that could happen there also. So it's all, yeah, I'm taking my chances as an adventurer. So the date is set for my surgery. I will go there and yeah, the next clip will be on surgery day. See you there. It's the day. Time for surgery. Going up to to the surgery place. Yeah, I feel calm. Morning, fam. Oh, here it is. I got these uh, P 
pupil expanding eye drops. So I'm not sure how that looks now. Maybe it takes some more time. And also a calming pill. So I'm feeling really chill right now. Um, I guess waiting for the action. This is what it looks like right now for me with the pupil expansion. Wide pupils. Woohoo! It's done. I have here a little bit of coffee and yeah, refreshment. Uh, I didn't feel anything. The most uh, sort of unpleasant thing was the eye drops with the, uh, they stinged a little bit for a few seconds, but that was the only thing. The whole surgical procedure was nothing but lights and yeah, visual phenomenon, but no, no, no pain or anything. So I, I see very fuzzy now so um, it's not uh, yeah it needs to settle in and so on so and I have a lot of eye drops and stuff like that so now time for coffee and then I'll call my wife who drove me here and yeah obviously she has to drive me home yeah let's see in a few hours how it feels oh it it's very bright I have two pair of glasses I had to go out on an errand uh, <laughs> my pupils are so dilated that I need to wear sunglasses and uh, <laughs> to even be outside so so 24 hours has passed uh, my pupils are still dilated. It can take up to two days for that to get back to, to normal. So I dimmed the light in here by, and on the screen because I'm actually working at the computer. Um, but my close sight is uh, not perfect. It, that will take uh, some more time. That's the last thing that uh, comes into place and uh, improves the way it was intended. Uh, but on middle and far range I can see sharply but yeah pupils are dilated and I, I see things in a sort of sharp but milky uh, milky way so uh, yeah but that's all as I've been sort of instructed on yeah it's going to plan and that's good thing about the uh, the uh, yeah pre-surgery briefing there what to expect and not to freak out um yeah so uh, let's see in a couple of days so day three after the surgery and uh, my pupils are uh, back it took one and a half two days and once that happened they went went back to normal so did my uh, vision, but with the sharpness. I, I immediately had the long and medium, but now also the, the small, the close-ups. Uh, so so <laughs> I'm, I'm reading on everything now, that's my new hobby. So yeah, let's, let's try out the roadbook. So long distance vision has actually improved, it was it's better than before, but the immediate effect that you notice is I can read anything on this screen now. The, this text was actually quite hard before, but now I can read 059559923 North. I can read <laughs> the bloody coordinates down there. So yeah, it, it's, it's like being bitten by the Spider-Man spider and getting superpowers. So, so far I'm very happy and this is the results that I was hoping for. And I still see the small halos. Nothing here gives me halos, but uh, if there's some really 
bright light uh, in dark contrast, I see not the hazy halos that I was expecting, but some glittering rings around uh, the light. So, but that will gradually uh, go or decline or go away, but not completely. Uh, and it's quite individual what, uh, how, how much you see, but if it just stays the way it is right now, I'm, yeah, goal completed. Also an effect the first few days were that apparently the lens has not sort of fixed in position yet. So it's, it's sort of, it felt like having what I call a jelly, jelly effect uh, in, on the vision. Like when I turn around and, and change where I look, it sort of wobbles and wobbles and wobbles because the lens is apparently moving a little bit and so on. But that effect is gone now. Uh, so well, yeah. Okay, so again, this is not a commercial or a recommendation to do whatever. It's my experience. Um, it was a very positive experience for me. And apparently this is my eyesight for the rest of my life. So the lenses will last longer than me. So yeah, there are some uh, checkups coming up uh, just to see how things are going and yeah so yeah i guess that's my story hope you liked it and feel free to ask any questions from I, I can tell you from my experience but i cannot talk about or i don't know anything about possible side effects or or whatever other people have experienced but this was my journey and yeah fire away with any questions you have see you